Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a home bargains haul. I haven't done a home bargains haul in at least a month. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out is this little watering can for Oliver. I haven't gotten really any toys for the garden yet other than like his shoe and his wee car and stuff. My plan is to do the garden because it is a mess. So I'm going to try and do it on Thursday I think. Pressure washer, do some weeding and I thought Oliver could help me. I thought that would be really really cute. I think this was 129 I might be wrong but it was no more than like 150 Next thing I got was also for Oliver. It was just this little cup. Because he seems to respond best to, I say respond, he doesn't pour it all over the place when it's a cup with a straw. And yeah, I thought that was pretty good. It was 99p. Doesn't seem to leak if you pull it over like that. I'm quite happy with that. I think that's quite a good bargain considering some places charge like a fiver for a good bottle. Oh look, I haven't even done my hair yet. How bad is that? Now on to beauty things. I'm doing this back to front because the beauty things are always first. But I picked up a self tan mitt which I always get and they've got the like, plastic gloves with them. And yeah, that was 99p and there was actually one sitting right next to it that was 199 but it just they're just not as good as these. They're, that is like velour. It's so nice and soft and if you put the gloves on it means you obviously don't tan your hands. I tried to do this a couple of weeks ago without the gloves on and you need the gloves. Okay so the next thing is a bit of a gamble. I feel stupid even showing this because I'm sure there's like videos online of like this as a joke. But I saw it and I thought it's kind of a good idea. It's a self tan roller. So you literally like paint yourself with fake tan. <laughs> I just thought it was worth a try because if you put that, I don't know, if, you must have to just put the tan straight on. I don't know actually. You would really need like a little rolling plate thing, wouldn't you? Best results, apply tanning product as directed and blend using the self tan. Alright, okay, so you're supposed to put it on your skin first and then use that to roll it in. Mm, it's probably not as good as I thought it was going to be. In my head, it was going to be like a paintbrush. Well, I don't know. I'll give it a go anyway and I'll let you know how it is. The next thing from the beauty section is the Clairol Nice and Easy Dye. This is only £4 as opposed to like 6 or £7 in Boots which is next door. So to me obviously I go and get it out of Home Bargain. I just use this on my boots which very badly need done. And I'm going to start getting my hair done at the hairdresser again in the build up to the wedding. I've just been trying to save money. My hair is so bad just now and I'm drawing attention to it. Also from the beauty section, I really do love the beauty section at Home Bargains because you can actually like try out so many different products without spending a fortune. You couldn't go into Boots and be like, I'll have this and this and this. But in Home Bargains it's so cheap that you might as well. I got this charcoal peel off mask and I know these ones were everywhere and people were putting them on their face and it was agony. I don't know if it's the same kind of thing. The girl who does my eyelashes was actually talking about these and you're supposed to just put them on your T-zone. I know the photo here is like all over the face but for your pores and stuff so it's not agony if you put it on your t-zone and then peel it off it should work in the same way as those like nose strips or any areas where you're supposed to get like blackheads and stuff so yeah i thought i would try that out i did try one of the sheet masks i think i mentioned this in my last home bargains haul i tried one of their sheet masks which you put on your face obviously and it's got like the big holes cut out it's quite scary oh i hated it it really like it's not a relaxing experience at all it made me feel horrible and it didn't really do anything to my skin that was disappointing but hopefully this one will be a bit better last thing from beauty was some hair bands because i've literally lost every single hair band that i own next up is a couple of cleaning things i didn't really get much i just got my standard floor wipes which are two for two pounds and they're massive i say this in every video so i'm not going to bore you again they are amazing and I picked up some fairy liquids. Next from the home kind of section, I got these as a bit of a gamble, toasty bags. Like I, I remember these were invented about 20 years ago and I remember thinking that they were amazing at the time. I've bought them before and then I lost them and didn't use them. Don't know what I did, I probably put them in the bin by accident but you basically make a little toasted sandwich. Well you make a sandwich, you put it in the bag and you put it straight in the toaster. And obviously it means that any like anything from the cheese or anything that you put in it isn't going to drip in the toaster and cause a fire. Um, yeah, that would be quite good. I don't actually ever make toasties in the house and I wonder if Oliver would like one. Oh, each bag can get used up to 50 times and I bought two packets. So that's 100 toasties for me and Oliver. That was really bad maths. No, it's not. Two bags in there. I'm not even gonna work that out. So a trip to Home Bargains is not complete without buying some Wickford candles. I got two of these pink rhubarb and pear. Actually, I'm not, I feel like they're really, really sweet and sometimes that puts me off because I don't really like, I like more of like a clean smell rather than a fruit, a fruity like sweet smell. But I think these might be a bit different, I don't know. It might be because of rhubarb and I am obsessed with rhubarb just now. I think it's because we bought the rhubarb method spray again and oh my god, it smells so good. I kind of sickened myself of Zuflora because I used it on absolutely everything for a few months. 
So now I'm like switching back over to Method. I'm going to use that for a bit and then I'll go back to Sephora. Yeah, anyway, I think these candles are going to be really nice. I also picked up a huge big thing of toilet roll. I actually always get toilet roll from Home Bargains. I said this in my video about how to save money on your food shopping and like your house shopping and stuff. It's so much cheaper. Just get the stuff from Home Bargains. It, this was 2 99 I think, for like 18 rolls, which is pretty good. And it's just toilet paper. So last but not least is this cup. Obviously I've got my braces in now and I need to use a straw. So I thought this would be quite good to take into work with me or just to have around the house because I'm using straws constantly. So this has got a plastic straw. I'm not a huge fan of the snake print silver thing but I never had any other prints. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a wash out and use it today. Quite a big like quite a big cup and it's insulated I think. So that is everything that I got from Home Bargains. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I'm almost at 9,000 9, which is so exciting. So I really hope I can get there today. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to help me. I hope you have a lovely week or the rest of the week and I'll see you in my next video.